Breaking news this morning from the Vatican regarding the resignation of a cardinal. Senior Vatican analyst John Ellen joins us now on the telephone with the details. John, what do we know about this? Well, what we know is that in recent weeks there have been mounting accusations against a retired Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. Uh, he is formerly the Archbishop both of Newark, New Jersey, and also Washington, D.C. In Washington, he became probably the premier broker between the Catholic bishops in America and the nation's political establishment. He played an incredibly important role during the John the late years of the John Paul II papacy, Benedict XVI, and also uh, reportedly was instrumental in uh, helping get Pope Francis elected uh, in March of 2013. Uh, the accusations uh, now hold that Cardinal McCarrick is guilty of a variety of acts of sexual misconduct and abuse, including, including in at least one case with a minor. Uh, of course, Pope Francis has pledged himself to a strong zero-tolerance policy on sexual abuse. Today, uh, the Vatican announced that the Pope has accepted uh, Cardinal McCarrick's resignation from the Cardinal of College, uh, College of Cardinals. So as of today, he is no longer a Cardinal. Uh, and that the Pope has also suspended uh, McCarrick a divinus, uh, which means that he is not able to act as a priest. Uh, he cannot uh, celebrate Mass, he cannot uh, do confirmations, and so on. Uh, while a, a church investigation against him uh, is uh, is unfolding. So what we have is fairly dramatic and rapid uh, papal action uh, against uh, the the highest rung uh, of the Catholic power structure. This this kind of thing is really unprecedented since the early 20th century. All right. Well, we'll continue to follow it through you. John Allen, thank you very much for insights on the breaking news coming out of the Vatican this morning.